As of January 23rd, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 19,680 cases in the country, with 4,233 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 164.4 per 100,000 population per day, which represents a 10% reduction from last week with a 39% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 3.1. We have noted a total of 318 COVID-19 deaths. We have 53 positive cases admitted at the respiratory hospital, one case is critically ill and five are severely ill. Since the commencement of the fifth wave on December 16, 2021, 6,551 cases have been diagnosed with an average of 172 cases per day. Women account for 59% of the COVID-19 cases. 22 COVID-19 deaths have been recorded, of which 59% of those are male. Tourists account for 2% of the cases diagnosed for the past seven days. The prevalence increases are noted both in the northern and southern regions of the island. This week, although daily cases continue to be high, the seven-day average approximation suggests a leveling off, pointing to the plateau in the epidemiological curve. We are beginning to see reductions in some of the public health indicators. We have not received the gene sequencing results from the Caribbean Public Health Agency as yet, although we suspect the presence of the Omicron variant, which is characterized for the high level of transmission, and we still have the Delta variant in circulation locally. The high number of COVID-19 cases on a daily basis, as noted at this point, has the capacity to increase hospitalizations, deaths, and productivity in the workplace. We appeal to all organizations, public and private sector, to ensure the strengthening of all of the public health protocols. We remind you of the following important measures. Avoid large crowds and crowded areas. If you develop respiratory symptoms, seek medical care and avoid contact with others. Avoid large meetings, crowded activities and social gatherings. Ensure the protocols are maintained at all workplaces and sectors, on minibuses and commercial and tourism sector, gyms, hardware stores, supermarkets and recreational activities. Ensure safe physical distancing for face-to-face -face meetings and activities. Use your face mask when in public places. Ensure regular cleaning of surfaces and sanitation of all business establishments and environments. Also ensure that you remain in quarantine or isolation if you are direct contact of a case or a member of your household is positive. Limit social activities at work. Encourage the vaccination of employees. The Pfizer, AstraZeneca, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised vaccination sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 at severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available.